Welcome to Autodesk Maya. In this tutorial we're going to cover how to actually get into component mode and discuss the various components which makes an object. So I have a couple objects on the stage here and you can make additional objects by clicking on these polygons and then uh, moving them out of the way just like I did there. So um, each of these objects here uh, basically are made up of various components. So they're made up of vertices, edges, and faces. If you select an object, you can go into component mode on a PC by hitting F8, and you're now in component mode. Uh, you don't have to do that, though. You can also go up here and click on this little widget, uh, which will also bring you into component mode. But a much easier way of bringing it out of component mode is to right-click on the mouse over the object, and you essentially have this little whip that snaps around and you can choose which object you want so you can choose vertices and now I can select a bunch of vertices and move them about so if I rotate here and move you'll see I'm selecting just vertices there um, if I right click and again use that little whip I'm holding down the mouse while I'm doing this by the way I'm not releasing the mouse so I'm holding down the right button down and I'm going to move to edges once I have an edge, I can select more than one edge by double clicking on it. Um, I can click on one and hold the shift key and click on another. If I hold shift and double click, I get the whole edge loop along there. But now I have multiple edges selected. Again, I'm going to hit control Z or command Z on the Mac. The last component, uh, you have two vertices that make up an edge. But if you have four edges, you have what's called a face. So I'm going to right click. Down here is the faces, and I can click on an individual face, and I can manipulate that individual face. So I'm going to undo again. So the ones in between are a little bit different, like the vertex face. To be honest, I haven't really found a, um, a purpose for this one. Uh, it's kind of cool to look at. You know, it's like, oh, they're kind of separated, looks cool and all, but not really useful. The multi one is actually pretty useful. Um, in some instances because you can select a vertex an edge and a face all while I'm working at the same time um, so if you go back and forth with those it's very easy to do each of these objects once you select it you can again right click go to face mode and you can now select the individual faces so any object that you have in your stage you just have to right click and select it so I'm going to go right click go to object mode is like escaping out from the components so on this one I'll hit the F key rotate around again right click to hold the mouse down and then go to whatever mode I want go to edges and I can select this edge and I can move it and reposition it and re essentially reshape this form quite quickly um, you know just by doing that and then right click go to object mode try one more click on this one here and let's see We'll go to right click, go to, this time we'll go to vertex, and we'll go ahead and select like the top half of this mesh here, and we'll go ahead and pull up. So you can see how the forms change quite a bit just by doing that. And then I can right click, go to face mode, I could select multiple faces, and I could do something like an extrude. So I'm going to choose this uh, extrude here. Again, we'll get into this tool another time, but you can see here how selecting these individual components will allow you to do some pretty cool things, right? So again, any object that you have selected in order to access these components, just right click, and then you have access to the vertex, edge, and face. Again, escape out, click on object mode. UV is basically for the texturing, so you can go to UV shell or UV and you'll be able to adjust that. If you ever accidentally click on it, what you can do is just hold the mouse down again, and go either go to object mode or go back to vertex or face or edge. So I'm gonna hit the object mode here. So that's it for this tutorial on individual components and objects in Autodesk Maya. Until next time, cheers.